This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Friday, July 24th, 2020. Here we've been talking about change all week. Um, and I'm going to end the week on a, on a pessimistic note, unfortunately. Because we've been talking about change, and, and I truly believe that as hard as this time of pandemic is, some of the changes it is asking of us as a religious community are going to pay dividends for years after the pandemic. But we also need to be honest about why we're doing this. Every day at, uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon, since early April, I've checked in with the media release from the Lincoln Lancaster County Department of Health. Like a lot of institutions across the country, from school districts to coffee shops, the decisions the church is making this summer are and must be informed by the public health situation where we are. And here's the thing, the public health situation in Lincoln right now is not great. Two of the three days with the most new cases of COVID-19 since this thing started have happened in the last week. It's been a month since we had a week with under 150 new cases in our county. That's a lot, and it's increasing. And I know that what a lot of us are worried about right now is school openings, and for parents, I, I want you to hear really clearly from us at the church that whatever you decide, we, Chelsea, Jean, Bob, Kelly, and I, and the whole of the church, no, one, it's a really hard choice. And two, whatever you choose is going to be the right thing for your family. If you want somebody to talk through that with, come talk to us. As far as Stacy and I, here's where we are right now. Um, we're okay. And for us, being okay is contingent on two things. Ailish being in daycare and the weather staying nice. Toddlers and puppies can blow off a lot of steam in our backyard and the dog park. But it's not a given that Ailish's daycare will remain open if cases continue the trajectory they're on now. And we know that in Nebraska, summer doesn't last, that winter comes hard. I spent a decade on the East Coast where the big disaster worry every year is hurricanes, about this time of year. And hurricanes are a little different than the tornadoes that we have here in Nebraska because you can see them coming. You can see them coming and sometimes they hit the coast and sometimes they end up going out to sea without any damage. But either way, the time to prepare for them is early. Figure out what you need in the house if power goes out for a couple days. Look at a map to find out how you would get out of town if there's an evacuation order. Do it ahead of time because trying to figure that out in the midst of a hurricane is almost impossible. So you know winter in Nebraska is coming and the trajectory of the pandemic looks like it will be with us in the winter months. Which means right now, right now, July and August is the time to figure out what you need in place to ride out December. Now that in part is what we're doing at the church as we're talking about what this coming church year will look like. And it is absolutely what we are doing in the Sinclair House. This pandemic will end, all things do. But it hasn't ended yet, and it probably won't for a little while. So keep your masks on, keep each other safe and healthy, and think about what you, do, what you need to do to make sure that you stay safe and healthy through the next seasons. See you on Sunday.